All right, well, we are standing in our mycorrhizal mix. So this mix was planted April 15th. It's now June 16th, so we're looking at about two months of growth here. Um, as the name suggests, this mix is all about building up beneficial fungal populations in our soil, specifically mycorrhiza fungi. Um, so it is made up of species that are extra beneficial and can really make that association with the mycorrhiza fungi that we want and so desperately need in our soils. Because of that fact, this is actually kind of a, it's a mix that crosses the cool season, warm season threshold. So we have a lot of cool season species out here, which is why we could spring plant it like we did. So you can see the oats and the barley and the phacelia. Um, there's a lot of flax. Flax is extremely mycorrhizal friendly, so we, we really like the flax. There's sunflowers. But then there's also things like, this is a little millet plant and a little sorghum plant that is in the mix because grasses are really good at making that uh, fungal association and then you know building those populations up so uh, this is a good example of you can build mixes or buy mixes that have both cool season and warm season species in it now when I planted this on April 15th we probably didn't have 65 degree soil temps so the grasses didn't germinate but here they are coming uh, about a month later so this is obviously uh, they've been growing for several weeks now but they have not been growing for two months they'd be quite a bit bigger than this so um, it is okay to have more species in there and kind of have those plants come up in succession. You need to realize, had we had a warm spell, these germinate and then catch a frost, they probably would have died. But this year it worked out pretty well. So. so there's been a lot of talk about biology and the organisms in the soil and, and nothing gets talked about more in my opinion than mycorrhiza fungi because they do so many things for the plant. You know, they're colonizing the root system and they're extending that root system out. Uh, to help bring in uh, nutrients uh, as well as water in a drought. And so it's extremely important if we want to have soil health and we want to grow crops with as few of inputs as possible mm -hmm. that we have good mycorrhizal colonization. A lot of our fields probably don't have that anymore. So this is kind of a booster, if yep. you will, if you got a field where you really want mycorrhiza but you're not really sure if you have it. A mix like this can really help start that, uh, boost that, give it a big shot. So not only are the plants friendly to mycorrhiza and encourage mycorrhizal colonization, we're also inoculating this mix uh, with our mycogreen uh, mycorrhiza inoculant, which has 10 different species of our muscular mycorrhiza fungi, as well as 10 other beneficial bacteria. So this is a full package. You're getting mm -hmm. the plants, there's probably you know, 14, 15 different plants in here, and then you're getting this 20-way biological inoculant that's going right on the seed. So when you plant this, it's a really good way uh, to help a really worn out piece of ground, uh, you know, regenerate if you're taking a regen year. Uh, and you could graze this too. Uh, it's probably not the best grazing, but for what it's doing, you could allow it to get, uh, you know, like this mature, you could run some animals through here. Uh, you would get some decent grazing out of it. All of the biology from the animals would be good. And then uh, uh, quite a bit of this would regrow as well if you graze it properly. So again, we can accomplish multiple benefits by putting mixes together in the right way uh, with the right goals in mind.